Some tasks in life feel so boring and repetitive. They make you think, I wish I could just push a button, which would get the task done automatically. Well, with the Meraki MT30 smart button, you can do exactly that. From toggling SSIDs, to sending push notifications, to any other API-driven event, this button can do it all. And today, we're gonna show you exactly how to configure an MT30 smart button automation. Let's jump in to the Meraki dashboard. So once we're in the Meraki dashboard, the first thing we need to do is click on the site where we want to set up the automation. I'm gonna go for the Meraki San Francisco office. Next, let's hover over sensors on the left-hand side of the screen and then click on automations. As you can see, a few automations have already been created, but we wanna create a brand new one. So let's click on new automation, this blue button at the top of the screen. Let's set up an automation to refill the milk in the coffee machine. And I'm gonna pick the trophy icon because everyone is winning when they've had a nice milky coffee. Next, we have to choose a sensor. So we're gonna stick with the button. We can choose a trigger type. So we can have any press of the button, a short press or a longer press. I'm gonna go for short press. And finally, we choose the action of the automation itself. So as you can see, we have five completely GUI-based actions that we can choose. No API knowledge needed. We can send a notification, pair the button with an MV camera to take a snapshot, toggle the SSID on or off, toggle the switch port, or send a webhook command. For this use case, I'm gonna send a notification. And now we can type our message. Please refill the coffee machine with some more milk. Thank you. Next, let's choose who we want to send this to. So we can send an email or an SMS. I'm going to go for an email, office manager at company name com just as an example let's click on next now we have an option to create a schedule so if we only want this automation to work within certain hours we can click on schedule as you can see some schedules have already been created but let's make a brand new one by clicking on new schedule let's call this schedule working hours and we can leave it exactly as it is nine to five monday to friday let's click on next Finally, let's choose which button will take this automation. I'm gonna go for the coffee alert button. Seems fitting. Let's click on next. And there you go. As you can see, we get a nice summary of the automation, including the name, the action, the schedule, and of course, which MT30 smart buttons are actually assigned to this automation. All we have to do now is click finish and save, and we are good to go. We now have a button that we can literally press to automate a repetitive and boring task. Hopefully this has been helpful. Thank you for watching.